All right, this is the signed, sealed um, <clears throat> copy of the 1787 Treaty of Peace and Friendship. And um, Shirley M. Berry, acting chief of um, the Library of Congress um, Photo Duplication Service, signed it and sealed it and sent it over to the Moorish American Consulate. So if you guys want a copy of a signed, sealed um, copy of the 1787 Treaty of Peace and Friendship to use it in your documents, go to the Moorish American, um, Moorish American Consulate website and you can download it there, right? If you want a copy from us, you can email us at themullings at gmail.com. Now, um, I'm just going to read some more because there's some other people on our um, thank you to all the new subscribers and those of you who are here now in this territory known as the corporate nation um, uh, debt slave uh, Pope Zone, Jamaica, also known as the West Indian Corporation. Now I was listening to Jamal and I'm going to put Jamal's link into the description below these two videos and Jamal's going to go into more detail as to how we have been deceived by semantics and the magi's magic using spells, word of art. And those of us who are subject to going into the court systems know that they always tend to ask you, do you understand? The last time they asked me that word, I fell asleep instantly in the courtroom because I don't do well with lies and stuff. So um, anyways, here's what it says. A Library of Congress, photo duplication service. Um, let's see if I can read it. <clears throat> I have to make it a little bit bigger. It says here, two, um, the phone number for the voice is 202-707-5640 or 202-707-1771, this fax number. And the email is a photo duplication at the Library of Congress.gov email. So I guess you can email them for a copy and you can ask them for a certified copy with a signed, sealed um, thing just like this. This is to certify that the collections of the Library of Congress contain a publication entitled The Public Statutes at Large of the United States of America, Volume 8, and that the attached photocopies, the title page, the verso of the title page, and the pages 100 through 105 are a true representation from that work. This is to certify Further, that the work is marked with the, li with the Library of Congress stamp that bears the date September 26, 1990. In witness whereof, the seal of the Library of Congress is affixed here too on November 8, 2007. So um, what I do is I send the first page, this page here, with a lot of the paperwork that I serve to entities like Wholeness and the lien that I served recently to them. I'd send this to them via email and told them because I'd sent it to Nigel Clark doing business as finance minister. And I told them, all of you guys go over to Nigel Clark, get copies of, of this. And then what I've sent you on email now, this is the, you have the full um, document. Now it goes on to write, by authority of Congress, the United, the, the public statutes at large of the United States of America from the organization of the government of, in 1789 to March 13, 1845, arranged in chronological order with the reference, with references to the matter of each act and to the subsequent acts of the same subject. Copious notes of the decisions of the courts of the United States continuing, construing those acts and upon the subjects of the laws with an index to the content contents of each volume and full general index um, in whole to the whole work in the con concluding volume together with the declaration of independence and the article of the Con article of confederation and the constitution of the united states and also tables in the last volume containing list of the acts relating um, to the judiciary, impost and tonnage and public lands, etc. edited by Richard Peters, Esquire, 
and then it says counselors, counselor at law, the rights and interest of the United States in the stereotype plates from which this work is printed. And then it just goes on volume, Boston, Little Brown and Company, 1867. Now, those of you who are new to this channel, you can go on my now over 700 videos and you will see in those videos the laws and you would also see the procedures to use when you're subject to the courts. Those of us who are Moors and know that we're heirs and national, which you guys are as well too, all the copper toned um, O blood type. Um, once you're an O blood type, you're more ispo jur, which means you're more by blood birthright, regardless, regardless of whether you have a nationality identification card or not. Now to stand on that, you would put that in the record prior to going into the courts in writing in an affidavit to the judge in private chambers. And you would write the affidavit like I've done in the past, of, go back and listen to my words, and that's the affidavit. Okay, if you want one, um, I can share the wholeness lien with you, and you can um, research it and then make your own using those laws as long as you know how to stand on it, okay? With the treaty, 1787 Treaty of Peace and Friendship, and the Article 6 I just read, all right? We do not get lawyers and attorneys to represent us. We present ourselves by going in there and saying, I affirm, okay? Now, we do not take oaths and we don't swear on a Bible, okay? And we do, like I didn't stand for the last time I was subject to this entity. Anyways, it goes on. I wanted to see if I could read some more of the articles in here. Um, now, I think this is Article 4 or 5. If either of the parties shall be at war and shall meet a vessel at sea belonging to the other, it is agreed that if an examination is to be made, it shall be done by sending a boat um, with two or three, two or three men only. And if any gun shall be fired and injury done without reason, the offending party shall make good all damages, right? Now, I'm going to scroll down here because, you know, I read things backwards, right? It's always good to do that because you get a better understanding of the information. The last article says, this treaty shall continue in full force with the help of God for 50 years. Now, remember, we had just signed it. I think when Barack was in power, he signed it again, so it still stands. We have delivered this book into the hands of of the before mentioned Thomas Barclay on the first day of the blessed month of Ramadan in the year 1200 I certified that the an that the annex is a tree copy is a true copy of the translation made by Isaac Cord Cardoza Nunez interpreter at Morocco of the treaty before between the Emperor of Morocco and the United States of America Thomas Barclay now it goes on here, the one above it says, if any differences shall arise by either party infringing on any of the articles of this treaty, peace and harmony shall remain not, notwithstanding in the fullest force until a friendly application shall be made for an arrangement and until that application shall be rejected. No appeal shall be made to arms. If a war shall break out between the parties Nine months shall be granted to all the subjects of both parties to dispose of their effects and retire with their property. And it is further declared that whatever indul indulgencies in trade or otherwise shall be granted to any of the Christian powers, the citizens of the United States shall be equally entitled to them. Anyways, you guys, um, I don't think I have enough time to read the rest. I'm going to have to probably make another video because those of you who don't have access to um, all this stuff, you might want to hear what it says. All right. So like, share, subscribe, you guys. Thank you for sharing with me. Thank you to Ha El Amaru Bay trademark <laughs> for sharing with us here. Um, thank you for your donations and your support. And again, we ask for donations to share this information with you for our channel. Thank you and have a great day.